We're here at the St. Peter's College Festival. I've got Justin with me. Justin, tell us a little bit more about your school, where you guys come from, and then of course the previous game. Okay, so hi guys, my name is Justin. I'm the director of sport at Red Hill School. I think the festival has absolutely been amazing. It's well run, well organized. There's lots of schools in which is really amazing to see that so many participating schools from various parts of the country and more so Joburg is actually participating in such a well-run festival. In terms of your previous game, you guys uh, walked away with that one, I think, I believe it was five or four. Uh, was it a zip there, a zero? Yeah, I mean, we've been struggling this week. We've lost most of our games just by goal. And I think the boys came out flying today and obviously got a 4-0 win, which was really amazing. So in terms of uh, the favourites here, who do you think is going to most likely be in that final later on? Well, already it looks like uh, it's between St. Peter's and Redham. I think it's going to be a really well contested final for the boys. And then obviously in the girls in the cup final, you're looking at St. Peter's against Redham. I think that's also going to be another hung dinger and a great end to the weekend of festivities. And in terms of the new uh, thing where they're doing with the penalty shootouts, they want obviously a result. Do you think it's a, it's a, a good addition? I think it's really exciting because obviously we look at international hockey and more so national hockey at an IPT level. If there are no results and they get under pressure, the kids need to start practicing those, trying to make sure that they get outcomes. And at the end of the day, it makes hockey a more exciting sport. And there you have it, that's Justin from Radio. All right, we are here at the St. Peter's College Festival. I'm with uh, the St. Peter's ladies. Zanelda and Kendra. All right, guys, tell me a little, about your, a little bit more about your experience here at St. Peter's College Festival. How's the tournament been going so far? It's been going very well. It's very tough. It's hot. The girls are getting tired, but we've been doing very, very well. And um, yeah, we've got our one tough match still coming up. All right, so who is that tough match and do you guys think you can make the playoffs? So we're playing St. Andrews and we do respect them as competitors, so we are worried but I know that if our girls push enough we can make those. And then I saw you guys were resting a lot of your players in that uh, previous match, do you think that's going to bode well for you later on in the tournament? Definitely, yo. the middle court players have been, we've rested their legs just so to give them a little bit of energy for the last game, but yeah, hopefully we can pull it through. Right, and then of course we also, height is always a thing as you can see, Like I'm quite tall, <laughs> these ladies are tall, uh, we see that your side is a little bit shorter than normal, do you think that's going to play a big part as well later on in the tournament? I think obviously it plays a big part, but we've trained our girls enough that they have good foot skills and all of that, so they'll make up for it in a lot of other ways. I say dynamite comes in small packages, ne? And there you have it, the St. Peter's coaches here at uh, the St. Peter's Cultural Festival. 